welcome to the second session on the offshore hydrocarbon sectors program uh, today we are going to see a completely different type of platform it is not so popular and it is called as a spar so before we start with the video i insist you to subscribe our channel and support us by sharing our videos to your friends and colleagues uh, one more important uh, announcement i would like to make is that my book on fundamentals of oil and gas industry for beginners which is dedicated to the offshore segment is available and you can buy the book the link for buying the book is being given in the description of this video thank you and have a fantastic time uh, to the best of my knowledge are in ultra high ultra deep water which is in malaysia uh, where the water indonesia uh, and the ocean surrounding the japan so where the water depth is around 5000 meters 6000 meters 8000 meters so in that uh, this kind of platform is they are uh, popular so uh, now we will move and uh, towards uh, the description of the spar platform see spar is not a short form spar is kind of a, a vertical big rod actually uh, that is actually you can see in ships where where in old olden days that uh, the ship captain or the crew they climb up to that spar and they can see whether uh, there is a land available land mass they can see in their vision or not so that is it's like a spar that is a vertical straight uh, kind of a rod okay so the spar platforms are essentially suitable for ultra deep water that is greater than 1500 meter applications so this massive platforms consists of a large cylindrical structure with oil platform mounted on its top that is what we can see here in the on the screen this is the crane as we have discussed all the platform the top side facilities are more or less same only the bottom side is different because this is related to water depth okay so water depth means it will always be in the bottom so the bottom side will be different tension leg platform or your jacketed steel platform whatever is there so bottom is different because the water depth is in bottom only so this uh, consists of large cylindric uh, cylindrical structure with oil platform the cylinder doesn't extends up to the sea floor this is very important but is tethered tethered means tied to sea floor by series of cables about 90% of the cylindrical hull is submerged so this is the cylindrical hull hull is that portion of the ship Uh, which is inside the water and uh, which is above the water that we can see it is like a straight particular shape so that is called as hull so <clears throat> the hull of this spar platform 90% of that is submerged under water the huge cylinder serves to stabilize the platform in the water and allows for movement to absorb the force of potential hurricanes the cylindrical hull is hollow and has cells for hydrocarbon storage and ballasting system so now at this point of time we know what is ballasting system and this uh, vertical hull what we are uh, what we are uh, what we can see from the spar it is hollow and in because it has compartment for storage of hydrocarbons at the same time ballast water because Uh, this platform the floating principle and everything is based directly to the ballast system because when it will absorb the water inside the hull that will that time it will become heavier and it will sink so when it sinks the tethers or the ropes or the cables 
which are tied at the bottom of spar and the other end of that rope is tied to the hammered pile so they will become loose so when the water will be uh, when they will be when they will become lo loose that time they are fixed by means of rov remote operate underwater vehicle they are kind of robots and once they are easily fixed afterwards the ballasting water is removed from the hull so when the ballast water will be removed from the hull this will move up when this will move up the bottom uh, cables which are uh, till the piling that uh, the hammered piling so they will immediately come into tension and this is how uh, there will be stability for this spar platform so uh, okay so historically spars were limited only for oil storage but recently they are also equipped with drilling and production facility spar is not an acronym means that short form but is derived from the ship spar for its close resemblance to ship spar so if you want i can uh, share what is the ship spar here <clears throat> this is called as ship spar nowadays it is not that uh, required but in olden ships like this so this can this is spar when when the when their crew member will ascend to the top and see whether there is land mass if they can see this is a spar this is spar so where that uh, what you call this i don't know what it is called so this thing is fixed and based on this actually the ship will sail so uh, it is all about the spar so i wanted to show you that spar okay so now moving forward and we will see ah. so uh, this is the spar and these are the important features and here we can see the entire structure of the spar which is submerged inside the water So this is a smaller spar this is a bigger spar and here you can see these compartments which are marked here they are the storage compartment for they are the storage compartment for uh, some uh, hydrocarbon and blast water so these are the different water depths in foot actually elevation wise it is shown this is not water depth this is the foot elevation 650 50 foot actually here so this is zero this is zero this is 220 foot this is 292 foot this is 650 foot so we can imagine that how deep it is and on top of that see here it is 90% is below submerged under water and only 10% is above the water and here these are those uh, cables or uh, tethers which are connected to the sea bed by means of the hammered piles actually inside the sea bed so <clears throat> i will i have, uh, also have added the uh, photo of a how these uh, tethers are connected to the hammered piles that small photo is shown there exactly not exactly or that photo but similar to that i will show in some coming slides so the important feature of spa suitable for <clears throat> suitable for ultra deep water applications maximum possible is a uh, 3000 3000 meters so inherently inherent stability the center of buoyancy is considered above center of gravity masking masking spar quite stable so uh, the center of buoyancy means here this spar the center of inherently the center of buoyancy is considered above center of gravity so cent center of buoyancy means uh, <coughs> suppose this is center of gravity so center of buoyancy will be above that that is why this become the structure will become a uh, stable if it is below then because of that Uh, force it may get topple. Okay, 
so uh, i am also i also am uh, to be very honest i am also not familiar with this par but this is an uh, introductory session on the spar and if we can explore this projects that time we can learn more and the purpose of this session is only to introduce uh, you audience about these different types of platforms and how their arrangement is uh, not in detail but uh, at least a preliminary and broad overview which is called as the eagles eye view means uh, to give you a basic idea of how they are and how they function so uh, facility for oil storage as we have discussed uh, the chambers in the hull like this they are having the compartments for uh, hydrocarbon storage as well as the ballast water storage okay. and sometimes produce water also so we all know that what is produce water because we have seen in our earlier session so favorable motions compared with uh, other floating system uh, because because if there is a boat the boat can swivel and uh, it can rotate also but here it cannot rotate because have, why it cannot rotate because there is see because if it rotates also then also it will be stable it will be like that top but it will never rotate it will never rotate okay but but it cannot move forward backward left right it cannot move but if suppose that there is a boat like structure then it may get unstable so because of this peculiar shape like a cylindrical more or less it is stable okay so particularly suitable at remote locations which lacks infrastructure hull <coughs> cost is relatively intensive to deck payload okay uh, platform motions are mostly lateral minimum heave minimum heave means uh, we have noticed that when we are into uh, some boat in a stormy sea or even with the waves are more then we can experience that uh, motion that is called heave so that kind of motion is very very minimal because of this shape cylindrical shape and that to 90% of that is submerged under the water so uh, platform motions are mostly lateral minimum heave that's it okay so economical to relocate to other sites in both deeper and shallower water uh, why in shallower water mm, shallower water means it should <laughs> it will not extend till the till the sea floor but 90% of that will be submerged under the 90% means the hull part will be under the water so you can you can immediately you can immediately uh, disconnect decouple this uh, tethers and this will be free to move but before that you have to you have to remove this and then you have to decouple this uh, tether so that it can be taken to some other location so it is that thank you for watching the video once again we request you to subscribe our channel if you have not uh, subscribed it and share this content with your connections thank you and have a fantastic day ahead